Crafting a mix involves more than just setting a level for each track. Creatively changing levels, panning, effect settings, and other parameters over the course of a song can add variety and dynamics. Mixcraft's automation function allows programming these changes into a clip or track. Once those changes are perfected, Mixcraft remembers them. For example, to emphasize a particular drum fill, program an automated volume increase for that fill, and Mixcraft will store your automation changes as part of the song file. Mixcraft can add automation for individual clips or entire tracks. Suppose you want to increase the volume on a drum part's lead-in, then bring it back down when other instruments appear. Select the drum clip, then choose the volume parameter from the Clip Envelope drop-down menu. The line that appears shows the current volume envelope. It's flat because you haven't made any changes yet. To insert a volume change, click on the line to create an automation point. You can drag this point up, down, right, or left. Creating a few points and adjusting them increases the level for the introduction. Now let's pan the introduction from left to right, then go to the center when the other instruments start playing. Choose Pan from the Clip Envelope drop-down menu to see the panning automation envelope. Add and move points for the desired panning changes. Click and drag on points to edit their position, or to move the line between points up or down, hold down the Shift key and position the cursor over the line. When the cursor turns into an arrow, drag the line up or down. To delete a point, right-click on it and select Delete Point. You can also choose Edit the Exact Value, then Move the Slider, or type in a numeric value for a really precise setting. Each track also has a low-pass filter and high-pass filter. Let's add a special effect to the drum intro, where the low-pass filter opens up over the first two measures. Choose Low-Pass Filter Cutoff from the Clip Envelope menu, and draw in the automation points. For an even more dramatic effect, add filter resonance only while the filter is opening, then automate the resonance back to zero. Each clip can have its own automation envelopes. And if you roll out a loop for multiple repeats, the clip envelope still applies to the entire clip. Some clip envelope functions are so common that Mixcraft offers quick edit options that speed the automation process. To add a fade in or fade out, select the part of the clip where you want the fade to occur. Right click anywhere within the clip and choose the type of fade you want. Similarly, you can boost an envelope inside the selection by a fixed amount, or reduce it. You can also invert a clip's entire envelope, not just a selection, by right-clicking in the clip and choosing Invert. Or reset the envelope to its initial value. Track automation works similarly to clip envelopes, except that you can program volume and pan automation for an entire track. Another difference is that the automation appears in a separate lane below the track's clips instead of being superimposed on the clips themselves. This makes it easy to see at a glance whether automation is for clips or tracks. To access a track's automation lane, click the Toggle Automation button, choose Track Volume or Track Pan, and add, edit, remove, or fine-tune points as you did with the clip envelopes. Unlike clip automation, track automation points can snap to the current snap value.
The two Mixcraft University tutorials on mixing and effects explain how to use Send, Submix, Output Bus, and Master Tracks. Unlike Clip Tracks, their automation lanes are always visible and don't need to be toggled on. However, like other tracks, you select the desired automation parameter, then adjust as needed. When you insert an effect, it appears in the Automation Lanes drop-down menu. You can then choose parameters for automation. For example, let's insert the Acoustica Delay and increase Delay Feedback and the Wet Mix as the drums fade in. Select Acoustica Delay Feedback from the Automation drop-down menu and create your automation curve. Similarly, select Delay Wet Mix and create its curve as well. During playback, you'll not only hear the changes, but see the parameter values change if the effect is open for editing. Virtual instrument parameters work similarly to effects. Choose the parameter you want to automate, create the automation curve, and as with effects, you'll hear the changes, as well as see the automation data control the associated instrument parameter. Virtual instruments also allow for a third type of automation that lets you perform your automation moves from a MIDI hardware controller, like a keyboard's mod wheel or foot pedal, rather than draw them in. For more information on this technique, see the Mixcraft University tutorial on using control surfaces. With Mixcraft, even the video effects are automatable as you'll see in the Mixcraft University tutorial on creating videos with Mixcraft.